the treatment of cutaneous T-cell lymphomas, if we make it easy and focus first on mycosis fungoides, um, the most common type of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, we usually um, distinguish skin-directed treatments from the systemic treatments. And since most patients are really diagnosed at a very early stage and see the dermatologist um, at a very early stage, we start with the topical skin-directed treatments. And the mainstay of this are really the topical steroids. Um, quickly followed or combined with um, light treatment, the so-called narrowband UVB phototherapy, both are really um, safe relatively inexpensive. And um, as far as disease control, in most cases, um, pretty effective treatments for the early stage patients. And once these treatments don't work anymore, or the disease progresses to um, yeah, an advanced stage, maybe with um, thicker um, infiltration of the skin, that it's not just a thin lesion, but a thick lesion, maybe even the development of, of tumors and nodules, then we have to get um, systemic agents on board in the form of different pills, infusions, um, to um, yeah, treat the disease a little bit more aggressively. Usually, um, along with the continuation of topical steroids and maybe even um, the narrowband UVB light treatment. I am a staff physician at the, the Madison VA and um, in the dermatology clinic, uh, which I do two half days a week, we do see on a regular patient, uh, on a regular basis, patients with cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Not surprisingly, most commonly mycosis fungoides, but then also other subtypes of cutaneous T cell lymphoma. And um, yeah, sometimes it can be very challenging to, to find adequate uh, treatment and management plans for those patients. And I should also point out that in especially the more advanced cases, it is not the dermatologist alone making the treatment decisions, um, especially when we get to the point that we need more systemic agents, um, those are usually uh, managed um, uh, by the oncologist hematologist. So especially for advanced stage patients, um, we as well as, as all other VAs in the country really um, have a very close collaboration between the dermatologist, the radiation oncologist, and the hemato-oncologist to really uh, find and design the optimal treatment plan for this patient population. Especially in dermatology, everybody is aware that really the optimal care for, for these patients, once it reaches a certain stage, can really only happen in a multidisciplinary setting. And um, it is absolutely true. Uh, once you get either radiation oncology or hematology oncology involved, you're not jumping ship. Um, and neither do they. Um, everybody really usually has to work together on a continued basis to, to manage uh, those cases.